His phone is silent. For gardener Stuart Mayfield, not being able to get a signal is more than an inconvenience. It's affecting his livelihood. When people phone you for work, if you don't answer straight away and they want the job done, they instantly go on to the next person. And, of course, they then get the work. So, for myself, it, it has had a cut down on the hours I'm working each week. Stuart's already lost business. Like other Vodafone customers, he's frustrated at the delay in fixing the mast. The problem lies with a couple of peregrine falcons, one of only 12 pairs in Hampshire. The place they call home is also the site of the mast, on the roof of a University of Southampton building. The rare birds are protected under law and it's illegal to disturb a nest. Until now, we've had to keep its location a secret. The problem here is you've got a mast somewhere on the roof of the university building. On the floor, not that far from there, you've got the peregrines nesting. And of course, Vodafone didn't want to go up to start fiddling with their mast. Of course, they could also be arrested for doing that. And it needed someone with a license to do it. I've got the license. Um, I could have done it three weeks ago. So why hasn't Keith been able to get up there? Well, the university has denied access. It hasn't wanted anyone near the birds, even a licence holder. And Vodafone says it can't fix the mask because only a licence holder can go up there and it hasn't yet applied for a licence. Why can't they just put up a temporary mask somewhere? It doesn't take that long. Seems like a solution. We asked Vodafone about it. It said any temporary mast would have to go on the campus because it would have to provide coverage to that same area, the current dead zone of about one square mile. Well, the university says Vodafone has approached it about a temporary mast, but it hasn't been able to agree on a suitable site because of the risk of the mast interfering with computers and equipment. All this toing and froing, and still no one really knows what's up there. I hope we've got babies uh, with little spiky heads coming up. If the bird is still on eggs, well, we'll have to wait a bit longer. And if they haven't nested, well, they can get straight in and, and fix everything. Keith is finally being allowed to investigate next week. An end to the problem may be in sight, and customers won't have to put up with too much more of this. Joe Kent, BBC South Today, Southampton.